Hey guys, welcome back for another tips and guide video. Today we're doing a GTA 5 video on how to install mod. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first off, I want to start by saying that mods are a green light for offline. The uh, developers have Rockstar actually stated that um, they're cool with you guys uh, modding offline, but uh, please do not bring anything in online. So they're definitely a no go and uh, just make sure to switch mods off if you ever decide to play online. So offline, do whatever the hell you want, but um, if you want to go online, make sure to switch those off. Most GTA 5 mods are actually scripts. And so to start this process off, we're going to want to install a few things that allow these scripts to run in our inventory. So uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to head online and we're going to install scripts. So if you head down to the description, the first link that we have there is the script hook link. It'll take you to this website. And all you're going to do is head down here and click it download. We're going to choose our file here. And we are going to let this So download. once that folder is done downloading, before we do anything, we are gonna want to go to our GTA 5 directory folder. So as you can see here, I'm inside of that. And basically getting to that is super easy. It's just going to your Steam library, wherever you downloaded the game to. Um, heading to Steam apps, comment, and then just clicking the game folder. It's gonna open this up for you. And uh, to confirm, you can just make sure that you have your GTA 5 EXE folder here. And um, that's it for getting to your directory. So once we have both folders open here, um, we're just going to head into our script hook folder, head into bin, and we're going to copy the two .dll extensions, and we just copy and paste them. And as you can see, I already have them, so I'm just going to replace them. And that's it for our first step. So uh, we're going to move on to our second step now. So for our second step, you're going to follow to the second link in the description. It's going to take you to this Microsoft website. And uh, this is downloading .NET Framework 4.8. So from here, you're going to go to this link right here. And this will automatically open a uh, download for you. We're going to click Save. And that's as easy as opening this up, selecting Yes. And obviously, I already have it installed. So it's going to say that I already have it. But you would just click Continue and let it install for you. It's super, super easy. And uh, yeah, we're going to move on to the next step now. And so the third step we have here, um, you're going to follow to the third link in the description. This is going to take you to the community script hook v.net download. And uh, so we're just going to click the big green download button there. This is going to take us to a GitHub source page. From here, you want to click on script hook v.net v360 release. We scroll down to the bottom and we are just going to click this zip folder. This is now going to open up for us where we can download this. Once it's done downloading, open this bad guy up. And in here, you're going to want to take the script hook v.net ASI folder. You're also going to want to take 2.dll and 3.dll. So that's script hook v.net 2.dll and same for v.net. 3.dll we're going to take those and we are going to move them again into our directory folder i already have them i'm going to replace them just a quick copy and that's it for this folder next we'll move on to the fourth step and okay guys if you head down to the description and click the fourth link it's going to take you guys to the lua plugin for script hook so some um, plugins they require this special script to run um, so we're gonna download this guy as well it's just easy as this clicking the big green download buttons opening that file when it is done once you have your directory and the downloaded file opened you're gonna copy both of them the scripts folder and the lua.asi and drag them in I already have them I'm gonna replace them it's as easy as that and that's it for downloading the LUA. Okay guys, so we've made it to the final stage of the video. So if you head to the fifth link in the description, this will get you to the OpenIV website. And basically what OpenIV is, uh, is a program that opens up your 
GTA 5 directory in a way that you're able to easily edit and add new mods. So um, this is optional. It's definitely not required to run mods, but it makes it a lot easier. So um, it's as easy as clicking the download button and just installing the program. I already have it installed, so I'm going to get it open here for you guys and just show you quickly what it looks like. All right, guys. So yeah, we've changed. And yes, um, it is a different day. But I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in for the video. And I hope I was able to help you guys get rolling with uh, installing mods. Um, you can definitely find how to install specific mods um, and other tutorials on YouTube. So, uh, thanks again for joining guys. I, uh, I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial video and were able to get some help from it. And uh, I hope you guys, I hope to see you guys in the future. So uh, cheers, thanks again.